You want to build a data culture? You got to know the lingo. Let's talk data grammar. I'm Julie Leary, digital strategy whaler at Whole Whale, and these are some of the top data grammar mistakes that make me cringe and how you can do better when it comes to talking about data. First up, sign up versus sign up. I'll sign up for that tomorrow. I'll sign up for that tomorrow. This one boils down to a pretty simple thing. If it's two words, it's a verb. If it's one word, it's a noun. So you can sign up for an email list and then that organization will count you among its monthly signups. Next one, amount versus number. There was a large amount of signups this month. There was a large number of signups this month. This one boils down to a difference between count nouns and mass nouns. Count nouns are things that you can count, things with discrete borders. Mass nouns are things that are uncountable, like knowledge or love, something that you can't quite draw borders around. You can count the number of likes something has, but you can't count the number of popularity something has. You would talk about the amount of popularity something has, because that's a mass noun. Next up, fewer versus less. If you mastered amount versus number, this one should be pretty easy. You can have fewer of a count noun and less of a mass noun. So you could have fewer conversions because you had less traffic. Ironically, you can have more of both. So you can have more traffic, more signups, more impact. Continuous versus continual. This is that one we all learned in fourth grade but we never really got the hang of. Continuous is something that never stops, like your breathing, like your organization's work. It's something that's always happening. If something is continual, it's not quite as fluid, but it does happen regularly, like your website updates. You're hopefully not constantly updating your website, but it does happen often. Now the big debate, is data plural or singular? If you're like me, you kind of groan when people say, what do the data say? Technically, the word data is plural for datum, which means like one data point. So you should really be using the word data like it's a basket of numbers. Let's share these data with the board. But that said, this word is so commonly misused that there really is no distinction anymore. So I say pick your audience. If you're talking to a bunch of math nerds, use the word data like it's plural. If not, it's totally fine to use data however you want. The next common mistake is mixing up the different kinds of growth. Exponential, linear, and logarithmic. Often we hear people saying they want exponential growth. It sounds awesome, exponential. But what they really want is slow and steady growth over time. That might be more like linear growth or even logarithmic, which starts really fast and kind of tapers off as it goes. When a video goes viral, its view count might be exponential. But for something like organic traffic or email list growth, slow and steady, linear growth is more likely. Last one, percentage increase versus percentage point increase. A lot of people use these interchangeably, but they're very different. Let's say you start with a 2% conversion rate in February, and then in March, you find that your conversion rate is 3%. How much did your conversion rate change? You had 50% growth, a 50% increase in your conversion rate because it went from two to three. But you had one percentage point of growth because it went from 2% to 3%. So if you wanna present these numbers in the best way, talk about the percent increase and not the percentage point increase. And that's it. Those are some of the data grammar mistakes that make me cringe. Thanks for geeking out with me. If you have any data mistakes that make you cringe, let us know in the comments or by tweeting at us at Whole Whale. And make sure you subscribe to our channel for more Whole Whale TV.